Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Lee in the chair. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Good, 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 good. So, what do you want to do today? Uh, just a, a good trim, I suppose. Um, before, there was a while there now where I was getting a lot of mullets and stuff. Oh, and yeah. yeah. Okay. Recently, okay. I've kind of cut up the back, so it's a bit short now, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe like a tapered fade at yeah. the front or something. Yeah, yeah. And then from there, just kind of, I'm, I'm very low maintenance when it comes to my hair. Like I do cool. nothing whatsoever. So if I can keep it that way, like yeah, it is, as low yeah. maintenance as possible. It's all about the shape yeah. then. So low maintenance, the shape needs to be cut in correctly, right? Yeah. So is this how, so this is just you getting up in the morning. That's, I yeah. mean, we're filming this at 10 past eight in the morning, right? So if you just got up, run your hands through your hair. Slick like it back, that's it. Yeah. Slick like it back, yeah. Me, okay, cool. Yeah. So when you say taper on the sides, what do you want to do about the back though? So usually would you want to grow that back out or do you want that to be different in length to the sides? What would you prefer? Yeah, maybe a little bit. I wouldn't like to fade it up at the back. Like okay. I like to have a bit more length at the back now. Yeah, yeah, but, sure. Uh, yeah, not, not too long now. Not okay. too long. Okay, cool. No worries. Well, I think what you're probably best doing then is maybe just doing a scissor cut on the back and sides. Yeah. And then just trimming that down a little bit, putting the shape into it more so than anything else. And then obviously putting the taper into to show off whatever's going on through the sides there to kind of get that shape in there. Cool. Yeah. Um, in terms of the top length, what, what are you thinking of here? I'm probably a bit off now. I think it's gone very long. Mm. Uh, if I'm having a bad, bad hair day now, it goes a bit mental. Okay. Like, okay, yeah, okay. So. Do you know what will help though? Yeah. Which, will, which will actually help. Do you see the way you've got here is kind of completely on its own and completely separated? Yeah. And that side's a little bit longer than that side, right? If that was all connected into the height at the top up here, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have a bad hair day. Okay. Or very rare. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. you have very, very little bad hair days. The reason you're probably struggling a bit more now is because that has just not got any connection it's in too there. too long, anymore. yeah. It's just too long and, and isolated. Yeah. So it looks great when it's perfectly styled, but as an, an everyday achievement, mm. if you're not having a good hair day, it can look quite hard to, yeah, to yeah. you know, it can look bad in a sense. So I think if we were to just cut that in and balance that, that would look quite nice. And then you just take whatever length you like off the top. Cool. If okay. you just kind of clean this, clean up what you've got, kind of put the shape back into it, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah, all right. Sounds cool. Yeah, 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 sounds perfect. Good. Sweet. Right, so on this one, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna cut this in cross graduation for the sides here because I wanna maintain length through here. Not loads, but we wanna maintain length. We want it to be noticeable dif like a noticeable difference from here to the back. So what I'm gonna do, coming into the side bend like so. Okay, so we're gonna put the taper in here. So I just wanna uh, kind of create the guideline. This is what I wanna do. And this is what starts the graduation into the taper. But this is just the starting point, okay? Like so, just following the guide underneath. This is more about putting the shape in. So I want the back to not look too heavy at the top and a different, I, I don't want it to look like his previous haircut if, he, if that makes sense. So I'll explain what I mean now. So if you look at, uh, Lee's hair now, you can see it's top heavy, and then you've got the taper there. So you've got all that weight up here, all that taper here. I want to make that more one length, because then that will show off the bit more length at the bottom. So as you can see now, look, as that falls back, that opens up the taper for me, with the graduation in there at the same time. As you go to the bottom, nothing will come off near the nape. There you go, see, a lot of length coming off over here. But I need that to happen, I need, I need this length to come off. So this is where it's gonna change the shape of the back. i right, do one final section. Coming across the back here, and this is where I get a guide, and where we have that meeting point when we start on the left-hand side in a minute. Now, the back looks more balanced than what it did on the other side. It's very heavy, seeing the difference? Got more shape in there. I'm following an arch in this around, so following the shape of the ear. Yeah, still pull this down slightly until we get past this section, then when we get to here, so when we start to pull it out and create our new guide. So this is still coming into the graduation on the taper. That's still my guide I'm using underneath. You see everything's getting pulled down. And it starts to match up to the nape. And this will be come to our connection point, the back. Now I'm going to work on the 
the tape in now. I'm starting with the tape first, that'll start to put in the shape. Now how short do you want to go on the tape, Ellie? Uh, as short as you think it needs to go. Uh, usually I kind of go for a skin fade in. Okay. Um, yeah, we do that if you like. Whatever you think yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah Let's do that. Zero in first. And stretch the blend out. One guard on. And this up and off. And strengthen up temple. Obviously, as you can see, it's very, very fine, light, white hair almost. I'm gonna add that shape in there. That is taking away the bottom of this, it looks nice and tidy. You can go nowhere near a, a, a skin taper or nothing on the bottom. But what I find is by taking away the kind of the loose little kind of flicks and stuff at the bottom, that takes away the I find the, the proper mullet effect. So it gives it still gives the length at the bottom, but it just takes away what would be classed as a mullet, I guess. So back inside, almost done. I'm going to do some fine tuning of that when it's uh, dried off later. There's the fade, there's the taper in there, as you can see. All the tapers in. Perfect. Yeah. We've got some length still sitting through it as well. So we took off a fair bit, a bit of length to certain parts of it, but just didn't go as short as the back of what we've done on the taper there. Now at the top, should we do what we said before, kind of connect that all in yeah, for you? Yeah. All right, cool. So how much length would you like to lose off the top lane? Because you can pick. It doesn't yeah. make a difference. Uh, usually I'd like it so it you know, doesn't come down over my eyebrows if it's, if it's already so... Kind of above that, I'd say. So above that, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're looking at that length. So what I'll do, if that's the case, is I'll cut it above the eyebrows first, get that length in it, and then we'll use that as the guide through the top, yeah? Is that all right? Yeah, sounds good. Come on, as you can see, we're taking off probably about an inch by the looks of it. So don't forget it's wet as well. So let's cut that to there. That's going to get connected in. Lee doesn't wear his fringe down, so this is not going to be worn down. This is just being used as the guide to take the top to the length that he likes. Okay, and everything from this point will go gradually short towards the back and then be connected on the sides as well. Looking to have a lot of length on this bit here now. And this is the bit that I think this is the, the, the struggling part for Philly, this part here. So before we carry on, how is that length? I know it's a bit wet. But that will dry up and that will sit yeah. just on the eyebrows. No, that's for good, yeah, yeah. Is that all right, yeah? yeah? Yeah, perfect. Sweet. Pull this up. There's our fringe we just cut in. So we follow that and we pull it back straight up. And there's our guide. Now, when I point cut into this, so it gives a really nice choppy finish to the ends. I'm just taking finger width sections and just keeping that same profile that we need because we want the top heaviness still. You know, it, it, I think the, the look that Lee's rocking when, when he sat down was great. I think if I can just make it that little bit better and shorter, that'll be ideal. And that's kind of what I'm trying to achieve now. So as you can see, the back's getting a bit shorter just through here. So again, following that guide. So we're taking off wherever it needs to be taken off. The crown's got a lot of length in it. Doesn't need it because the crown falls nicely anyway. And because he's got that little bit of curl and wave, the crown's disguised within all that anyway. Pick that up, straight over. Take all that length off. And now what we do is we get to the back, pull this all the way back. We connect it into the back there like so. So we're not leaving it top heavy or crown heavy or anything like that, we're just leaving it all graduating in nicely to the back. So now, I fit this up. Now this is where you'll see a lot of length coming off because this is where the corner's being kept in. And I think for the way Lee's wearing his hair and the style he's going for and the, the low maintenance element, don't forget that, that word, low, well, the, the two words low maintenance is, is the thing we need to really take into account because that is one of the things that, like Lee said, he just gets up, brushes, runs his hands through his hair and it's done. So we need to really take that into account, okay? Like, you know, we can always incorporate product at some point in there, but like I said at the start, the cut needs to be done properly. 
and then when you get all that connection in you follow you're not leaving any like disconnection throughout the haircut it's all just falling in nicely that's what makes it low maintenance that's what will make it easier for for Lee to, to manage and that's all i want to do now bring this back to the recession don't forget we've already cut the fringe in so there's the fringe that i cut earlier right and then we just work this back we've got our connection to the sides and we've got our connection to the top and we've also got our guide from the the front as well we should wear this all the way around the head okay and as you see i'm still point cutting into it because i still want that nice softness to fall into the blend let me get into the back we just connect it all in what you get as lee pulls it's back it falls but not hanging over essentially that's what i was trying to do so again what he came in with just a, a bit of a, a a more balanced version of what kind of needs picking it up now i've got two guides now i've got the guide from the the front the fringe there i've got the guide from the middle as well from our first section we took down the center as you can see angles of my fingers are slightly following the shape of the head not fully we can have in through the sides now. So we'll pull back to the recession. And take away that point. There we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add the texture in. So I'm gonna use the razor for this one. Lee's hair is perfect for the razor. Now I wanna add loads of move. I want, again, want lift, I want it to stand up, I want it to move around, wide section. I'm going to start from halfway up and just slide that razor in. Now th watch this, what this does now. Ready? This gives lift. So I run my hands through here and that'll start to have more height. All the way along. We're getting height in there now. So if this has more volume with just water, imagine what it'll look like with a bit of heat and a bit of product as well. That's the way I look at it. Now at the front, just a little bit higher up at the front so it doesn't fall too much, not doing too, too many sections away. But I want the height in there as well for them, so it falls around. Just working alongside, more towards the ends. Don't want to cut it too close to the round of the head. I just want to break the ends up now. Just off centre. Give me a bit of that thickness too. This is very thick. So working that through here like that. One more into the fringe, not as low down as I was doing before, just at the ends. What we'll do, just a little bit of collapse as well, so we'll just comb the hair over, we'll just slide in, like so, just from the top of the head. There's just part this just past the round of the head, and just sliding through, like that. And that's just kind of a bit of collapse as well. Love a bit of a mixture of textures, again, makes it easier for you to have style his hair, manage his hair, and whatever else. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just point cut into the back. Now, I just want to break this up a little bit as well, so as it, as it, as it is now, I'm just going to point cut into the back, like so. And this will give a load of texture. And that helps to thin out the back at the same time too. There you go, buddy. Now, I'm going to diffuse this because I want this to be really natural looking, okay? So, I'm going to put a bit of... Oh, Use this one on this one. So this is a texture phone. It's like a, uh, it's almost like a salt spray and a foam, right? It's got a bit more hold than a salt spray. So I find that if you're looking for low maintenance, mm -hmm. salt sprays won't have any hold really, okay? But this has got a little bit more hold. So if you don't want to use a styling product, you don't have to. This is just something you can put straight on. Leave it to dry naturally if you want, or diffuse it, whatever you prefer to do. Cool. All right? Yeah. So is the length looking okay for you, man? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah? happy? Love yeah, love it. Sweet. So, medium speed for high heat. Now dry this in, scrunch this in. Right, would you just feel your hair for me a second, just so you can feel the grip that you've got in there? Oh yeah. See, yeah. you've got a you've got a hold in there, which is yeah. a little bit a little bit more than you would have yeah. over water and a salt spray. Mm -hmm. So you could actually you could just rock that shape if it, you yeah, wanted yeah. to and just shape it that way. Cool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm just going to fine tune the taper now. It's all dried into shape. And now what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of a finishing product on just because you're going out, all right? Because I know you're spending the day out in London. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this one. It's a grooming cream. 
Okay. All this will do is just give you that, like, that flexible hold through the day. All right. Yeah. So yeah, the cut's already done. It's already, that's all, that's yeah, good, it's yeah. already done. So now, finishing off, I used about maybe like a pea size amount, just enough that we can work it into the hair and just show off the haircut, basically. That's all we want to do. Okay. Show off that tape and make sure you put the product into the sides and through the back as well. So you can show off that little bit more length through the back and then scrunch it around and have it really, really messy. So you can see all that texture comes out. You can see where the razor's being put in there as well to give that movement. And you can just play around. So you get all that flow, you get the movement in there. You get the taper and the squareness in the cut as well. That's essentially it, man. Lovely. It's just like what you had, just a bit more balanced as you could probably mm -hmm. see when, you know, you can see the difference now. You took the length off you want, but also we took away them corners that you had that so, were kind yeah, of yeah. just dropping down, you know? So. I just took that away, but then give you a kind of like longer back without a mullet. So I think it looks great, mate. I think it's a bit like a half wolf cut. Somewhere in between. It's a bit in yeah, between, yeah. yeah. I think this is, if someone's not brave enough, <laughs> this is your cut. Because you can see, it's still oh, tidy. Yeah. You've got all the shapes sitting in there as well at mm -hmm. the same time. Do you see what I mean? So Lovely, it is yeah, wolf yeah. cut-esque without the actual... Um, it's on the way. Without the wolf. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pup cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go, man. Perfect. Awesome, happy to be here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank, Thank you very much, mate. Thank Cheers. you.